Now recall from our previous lectures where we had basically talked about how computational photography is a process that takes information from a three-dimensional scene and goes through a series of different steps to be able to generate an image that a user can interact with. So in the whole traditional aspect of computational photography, we start with a 3D scene that is illuminated. Optics is used to be able to get information from the scene onto a sensor, which converts it into pixels. And we've looked at in detail how image processing techniques can take the pixels for enhancement or even for analysis of images, like finding features that would be then used for various computational photography processes. The thing I want everybody to remember is what we're interested in is going from rays of light in a 3D scene and going to be able to generate pixels that can be used for various types of computational processes. Of course, we want the computational processes to also impact illumination optics sensor, not just image processing. So one thing I want to emphasize also is that in the study of computational photography, we do rely on various types of disciplines, ranging from optics, sensors, computer vision, computer graphics, and image processing, and they impact each and every aspect of this pipeline of we're trying to get information all the way from 3D scenes to actually generate an image that could be processed and displayed. And these other disciplines that we have kind of will be studying in different uh, details to help us build the foundations of computational photography. We've already looked at image processing to kind of help us extract information from images, but we will be looking at more scene analysis and stuff like that from optics uh, and also from computer vision. And we'll study things like sensors, especially camera sensors and how light is actually captured.